Microbial science underpins our world today in our bodies, in food, in health, in soil. It's the foundation of our lives. It enables us to break down nutrients. It enables photosynthesis. Very excitingly, it also neutralizes pathogens. So over the past hundred years, inadvertently, we have been destroying a lot of the microbial world with pesticides and antibiotics and chemicals and thus throwing the whole microbial world out of balance. And the result is viruses and sometimes epidemics. And this new understanding is very exciting because it's about an intelligent, natural relationship with this world, which would revolutionize our lives. Microbial technology is the application from all of this research from different institutions around the world. The Gates Foundation funded a research into the issues of human waste and concluded that 2.5 billion people on the planet are affected by human waste, disease-borne water. And secondly, then funded major trials to what the solutions could be with chemicals and treatments and solvents and concluded that there wasn't really a solution for treating waste. Just recently, Barcelona University, the Department of Microbial Science, finished their study on treatment of waste by microbes and confirmed conclusively that not only does it reduce the waste and smells, but it also neutralizes the pathogens. Whereas all the other solutions currently in use, chemical and industrial, reinforce pathogens and they come back again with an increasing vengeance. The benefit of this is unquestionable and it's important for the world and mankind to hear and know about this. And that's LifeWorks' job. LifeWorks Global has decided to concentrate and introduce microbial technology mainly in the areas of soil and food. The soil has degraded considerably over the past 100 years through intensive farming, climate change, loss of knowledge of sustainable farming. So with microbial technology, we bring back to the biodiversity of the soil in a natural way, in an exciting way, over a very short period of time. And the health of the soil improves greatly. So when the soil has structure, it retains moisture, retains water for longer. And when the heavy rains come and the drought periods of drought come, it can withstand it far longer and needs far less water to grow the crops. Just recently in Rwanda, we've gone out on the field, introduced the technology, applied it to the field. Our partners have done this and applied it in trials. In the last two and a half months, all the evidence coming back from data, photos and soil tests confirm 200 to 250 percent increase in crop yield just in two and a half months. SCAD, this wonderful partner in southern India supporting disadvantaged people, about 600,000, are now introducing microbial technology to 550 villages, which gives them almost double, if not more, in crop yield, improves the health of the soil. But microbial technology doesn't just work in isolation in agriculture. It's dependent on the whole cycle of sustainable farming, where composting and crop cycles are also important. But we are convinced and passionate that we can bring back the soil to great health. We can then transfer that knowledge and know-how to our partners on the ground to empower them to produce fantastic results, not just in soil, but in animal health and in the community. And the benefits of microbial technology will ripple on for generations.